Hello guys, and welcome to another part of my Deus Ex Human Revolution Let's Play, and uh, Stop booyah. Let's do this. Go. See for yourself the future this technology offers. Okay. Let's go. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... On your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. You oh, up. shit. Stand still. Oh, shit. Stand still. Come oh, God. Come oh, God. Oh wow. That was a hard thing to do. Wasn't it? Hmm. But I wonder if I can just use this. Or is this like a boss later that I have to fight? I wonder. Oh shit. Come on. It's in my head. Oh I shit. Know it is. Oh god. Don't you see? I need for you to understand. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll open the elevator door. And uh this is ridiculously easy because nobody has a gun. I have like advanced weaponry to kick their asses with. What do they have? Their hands. All they have is their hands. They'd say strength comes in numbers, but numbers can be extrapolated by a one well placed explosive. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So I'm um, uh, if we could move a little bit faster, elevator. Oh yay. Yeah. Oh wow. Come on. There we go. Are we going to the other no, side? No, there's no one here. It's all in your head. You, you're gonna pay. Yeah. Am I? Don't, don't. Stop running! I've got. <laughs> Am I going to pay? Am I really? Oh god. Okay. Read if you like. Okay. Let's see. Heavy rifle ammo. Oh, I could just use this though. To murder whatever dumbass who likes to step in my way. My way. I can't think with all that noise. Who are you? I don't know you. Come closer. Come. There we go. <laughs> Come closer. Come closer. And then I got closer and killed him. Quite a charming thing for me to do. Where? Oh, we got more plasma capsules. What about here? Nothing? Oh, the three in the middle didn't even get opened. Okay. Guess we'll leave. Guess we will leave, then. Come on. What do we got through here? This is William Taggart. If anyone out there is listening, I'm begging you, help. We've barricaded ourselves inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please. Save us. Please yeah. save us. Boom. You, you're gonna pay. Yes. Come closer. Okay. Oh. Sh don't, don't, don't. Oh, well. Wow. 
Well, this is a good area of effect weapon, I would say. And it looks awesome. That is why I still continue to use it. That is exactly why. Strength in numbers, my ass. Now what do we got over here? Sneaking through here. And possibly a chance. What is this other thing? Oh god! Mr. Jensen, please. Please Quite put the off. weapon away. You won't need it. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation, rules governing how the technology is developed, and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves like... like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will, but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. Mine. 
Well, no. 